Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial you'll learn how to create a very easy chipped slash cracked displacement on any surface in Blender. This can help create some really nice chipped paint material or some old cracked glass objects. This is going to be a quick setup, so let's get started. Alright, let's add a new material to your object in the node editor. Click Shift A to add a new node and search for the noise texture node. Then, let's add in a color ramp node. Change the color ramp's interpolation from linear to constant. Go to the slider on the right side of the ramp, left click, and drag it towards the left side. Because Blender's noise texture features like 6 different colors, we need to use the color ramp to change its brighter and darker colors to solid black and white values, which will convert the texture to a bump map. The darker colors get pushed in, while the brighter colors get pushed out. After, connect the noise texture's color output into the color ramp's factor input. Once you've done that, click Shift A again and add in a math node. Connect the color ramp's color output into the math's top value input and change the node's operation from add to multiply. If you plug it into the material displacement input now, we get these weirdly shaped cracks in the mesh. Using the color ramp sliders, you can adjust how much of the cracks you want to show on the object and the math node's bottom value to adjust the strength of it. Now, we're going to add to the current displacement by adding in a Voronoi texture. Let's disconnect the color ramp from the math node and plug in the Voronoi's factor output into the math's top value input. Next, change the Voronoi's texture coloring from intensity to cells. This will create, well, cell-shaped cracks, I guess. And you can see up there on the viewport on how the cracks look. We can use the scale value on how big and how much cracks you want to appear on the mesh. Okay. So why did we even use the noise texture if we're only going to use the Voronoi texture? Well, we're actually going to use both, but we need to combine it with another math node. Connect both setups to the current math node and then click on the math node, and then press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate the node. Now that you have combined both displacements, you can use the second math node bottom value to adjust the strength of both displacements. Play around with the values until you get a result that you're happy with. I know my displacement setup tutorials are what you guys love the most, since they are my best and most viewed videos on the channel, so I'm here for you guys. Thanks for allowing me to give value to you all, and I'm glad I'm a huge help to a lot of people. Thanks for watching, stay golden, and get to Bon Bon. Also, you don't have to call me that 16 year old who does computer graphics anymore because my birthday just passed and now I'm 17.